Welcome back into this edition of Red Devil Roundup. I'm Jared Revlett, the Public Information Officer for Owensboro Public Schools, and I'm joined now by Mike Johnson, the Head Boys Track and Field Coach for Owensboro High School. And Coach, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Hey, great to be here. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about last season. You had a little bit of success with, with uh, your right. guys, and, and talk a little bit about uh, the success you had last year. Right. Last year, Jared, we had a great time, a great season, uh, outstanding athletes. Uh, one good thing about an Owensboro High School track team is, you know, they come in enthusiastic, excited about uh, reaching their goals, uh, and that's what track and field is all about. And last year we had a great turnout, uh, great guys that come out, and uh, we worked very, very hard. And, uh, and I, I tell you, they, they really surprised me as well as the coaching staff, and they even surprised themselves. And that's one thing about track and field. You can set goals for yourself, and if you work hard, you can achieve your goals. And that's exactly what they did last year. And, uh, and, of course, you know, uh, at the time, uh, the track was actually getting constructed. It was actually being built last year. So we had to be creative in everything that we did. I mean, we had to be very creative in making uh, training uh, schedules and, and different things like that. And the guys adapted wonderfully to everything that we did last year. So we're excited and optimistic about the new year coming. Well, that leads me right into my next question. I was right. going to ask you about the, the new track and field facility that you've got over there. And right. I know that's long awaited and it much is. needed. So talk, talk about that and, and how excited yeah. you are to be out on yeah. that this year. Well, I tell you, I tell you, it's a dream come true is what I say. You know, with state of the art facility, track facility uh, is second to none. I mean, uh, a great facility has all the bells and whistles is what I call it of, of a great uh, facility that's needed to be able to produce great athletes. And uh, on that track facility, it, it is a 400-meter track. Uh, it has, you know, the shot put circle, the disc circle, uh, long jump pits, um, as well as the uh, pole vault pits and, um, and high jump. And so we're excited about having a new facility and being able to train on that type of surface because that's the type of surface that we need uh, to get athletes uh, strengthened and, and prevent a lot of the injuries that, that we, you know, can incur by running on a different type of surface. So. Put it, put it this way, we're up to date now. It's outstanding. <laughs> and not only that, but right. you know, it's going to be able to bring or have the opportunity to bring the city county meet back to the city. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. We'll be able to bring that back, which is one of the uh, one of the great things about it to bring city county championships back to the city county. Yeah. <laughs> so we're excited about that, and uh, I know that the whole community will enjoy that to be able to come back uh, uh, to the city county championships and, and enjoy a nice facility and uh, see some great kids uh, do great work out there. And speaking of city, county, this, this area uh, has had fantastic track programs at all the schools here right. around the community for, for years and years. Right. And I, I know that's no different now than it was you right. know, when I was competing in high school. So talk a little bit about the competition here in the community between the four <clears throat> local high schools and how that helps boost your guys' performance uh, going into the, the latter part of the year. Right. Uh, all of our schools are, are great, uh, great schools. Uh, and have great programs uh, in which each each school is is competitive, you know, in having those athletes. And uh, we have a great tradition, like you said, in Owensboro, have a great tradition of uh, of athletes uh, being successful. And and we look forward to the competition uh, here in Owensboro with you know the four high schools that are around here, and they're excited about uh, coming to the new facility and and us competing against them. So. Uh, like I said, you know, the guys are eager and ready to go uh, to be able to go after it and try to achieve their goals of this year. Well, we're finally getting into that point where we can get into track and field season. It's going to warm up eventually. It's, right. not, it's not quite there yet, but yeah. talk a little bit about that off-season program and the, and the guys getting in the weight room and out running and getting right. ready for the season. Right, and off-season, that, that is always key in, in you know, developing into a, a, you know, a strong athlete and condition and getting ready to go for when season does start. And I always say that it's critical uh, that we get into the weight room and work out and uh, do the things that, you know, it takes to be successful within the season. Uh, we, we never take, you know, too much time off. We want to uh, continue to stay in shape. And, and with that work ethic of being in the off season, it translates over into the, into the actual season of, uh, of actual season. So. And talk a little bit about, I'm sure you've got several guys that are multi-sport athletes that maybe play football in, in the fall or right. basketball in the wintertime. Talk about how those sports help tr uh, their transition and conditioning when they get to track season. Exactly. And, and, you know, we do have a lot of uh, athletes that do uh, play different sports. 
and, and we want that. You know, we enjoy that because that actually helps with the conditioning of an athlete when they do come to track. You know, we do have uh, several athletes that play basketball and football, uh, maybe lacrosse and, and, and some of the other uh, soccer, and I can go on and on. <laughs> but, you know, it all translates over to conditioning and being in shape and being ready to go. Uh, so when they do come, you know, within track season, they're already conditioned and, and strengthened. So it doesn't take much for them to get in shape and to be ready to go for track season. Well, track track's one of those unique sports where it's an individual sport, but it's also a team sport right. at the same time. So talk That's a little right. bit about that balance of, you know, the guys who, you know, excel as, as an individual, but how they kind of bring that team together as well. Right, right. And, and it's funny you say that, you know, we have what's called PRs, personal records. Mm -hmm. Each athlete has their own goals that they set for themselves at the beginning of the season. And we strive to meet that goal. That's, that's what they want to do. And it's personal to them. Because I always say if you can achieve your goal on track, in track and field, you can actually achieve your goal anywhere, in anything else you do in life. You know, so we, we translate that. So they set those goals uh, for themselves at the beginning of the season. And they work hard. And we put a plan together so they can be able to you know, be successful and achieve those goals. Awesome. Well, talk a little bit about the goals for the team for this upcoming year. I'm sure you've got some, some goals both on right. and off the track. For the right. We, we're excited about it. Uh, some of our goals is to, you know, uh, work very hard, and, and that's what we always do. And uh, because we know that, you know, when we work hard, it pays off in the end. So uh, we've got a great plan together uh, for the athletes, and, uh, you know, we'll be setting ourselves up for success when we have a good plan. And that's what we coaches do. We plan, and, and you know, for the athlete to be better. And so we have to make a plan for regionals to get ready for regionals because, you know, once we go to regionals, that qualifies us for state. So our ultimate goal is to make it to state and, and actually win state. So our goals are set high, you know, at the beginning, you know, but it's up to the athletes, you know, and the work that they put in that we can be successful at regional and state and also city champions, <laughs> you know, so excited about it. Oh, well, it'll be here before you know it. Season's right. right around the corner, and uh, I'm assuming you'll start with indoor and then, right. and then go to the outdoor season as well. Right. We're right now, we're indoor season. It is January. It's cold. You know, <laughs> uh, winter still has a grip on us. But at the same time, it's also a rewarding time for athletes that, that uh, want to participate in indoor season. And that's what we have going on right now. We're slated for Southern Illinois University. We'll go up there and compete against some of the great uh, high schools across Illinois and Indiana as well as Kentucky. There's also teams that come from Kentucky up there to Illinois that we'll compete against that will prepare us for outdoors. So we want to, you know, compete well, you know, indoors so it can translate to outdoor. Right. So we can be successful. Well, the indoor season's underway and outdoor will be here before you know it. But coach, right. thanks for joining us here and we're going to take some time to talk to some of your athletes as well and hear what their what some of their goals are for the upcoming season. Right. Thanks a lot. Sir. That's uh, head coach Mike Johnson of the boys track and field team at Owensboro High School. I'm joined now by Lucas Howell of the boys track and field team. And uh, Lucas, you, you just told me you're, you're one of the runners, one of the sprinters on the team. Talk a little bit about uh, why you wanted to get into running and, and why you wanted to be a sprinter. Well, it all started with uh, football. So I wanted to get faster at football, so I decided to do track and get faster in track, and it would help me along with other sports. And uh, run through your events that you run for me once again. Uh, the 100 meter dash, and then I run the 200 in the Four by four. Okay, four by four was one of my favorite events to, to watch when I was competing. I, we, we didn't do it too often. We had a throwers really that was a four by one, but the four by four, it's one of the toughest events to run. You got to run that whole lap there, but uh, it's four guys coming together. And it's always an exciting event. Talk a little bit about competing in that event. Well, it's just a mental game, really. It's just uh, the matter of getting off and doing the best you can do, and really, it's just a mental game. So, how long have you been uh, doing track and field? I've been doing it since seventh grade, and now I'm a freshman. So. Okay. What are some of your favorite parts about being a track athlete? Um, my favorite part is basically just knowing that I'm getting in shape and staying active and doing the best that I can do. So you, you said you compete in football as well, um, you know, in the fall. But how does your your experience playing football translate over into uh, track and field season? Well, I'm already in shape, so I wouldn't have to really worry about being in shape when I'm in football, and usually I always have that one step ahead of everybody because I'm always in shape, so that helps a lot. All right, and talk a little bit about uh, some of your goals for this upcoming season. Really just to get faster and be more strong and always just just keep a good eye out for everybody and 
So, so as a runner, you know, you've got those events kind of spread out throughout the day, whereas, you know, as a thrower, we, we had our events early, and then we just had to sit around the whole time. So how do you stay focused throughout the entire meet uh, from one event to another? I just think about, like, the times I need to get and reach and focus on those times so I can do good on my next event. And when you and your, your guys on your relay are, are getting geared up for, a, for a, an event, talk a little bit about that process with the four of you getting together and what, what goes through your minds as you all are getting ready for that race. Uh, we got to win. That's really what's going through <laughs> our mind right now is we got to win. We got to do what we can do to win that race. And so, you know, you, what's your one of your favorite meets uh, that you go to every year? I know Coach talked to us a little bit earlier about going over to Southern Illinois, but I know there's a lot of those fun meets that kind of get you out of the community and getting you competing mm -hmm. with some, some people from around the country uh, that, that can be exciting as well. Well, I mean, I'm only a freshman, so, I mean, I think this meet coming up will be a pretty good meet for me to see where I'm at and see where I could be at in the future. For sure. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to sit down and talk with us, and uh, good luck this upcoming season. Yes, sir. All right. That's Lucas Howell, a boys track and field athlete, a sprinter on the track and field team, and uh, good luck to you this season. Thank you. All right. Joined now by D'Artagnan Tinsley, a shot put athlete for the boys track and field team, and thanks for joining us this afternoon. Uh, it's good to be able to talk to a fellow thrower. You know, sometimes I <laughs> get around those track athletes, and you know, they're talking about being fast and stuff, and I don't know what that's all about. But <laughs> But uh, talk a little bit about being a, a shot put athlete on, on uh, the track team. Oh, um, it's like it's a real great experience. Like you get to develop like explosiveness as far as like you know your other sports like football and stuff. And like it's just like good to build like friendships. And Do you a football player as well? Yes. Sir. So talk a little bit about you know how your training for football helps carry over um, onto the into the shot put circle. Well, training for football like it helps you develop some explosiveness, and then you also work out, so it kind of helps you with like your power. And you know, kind of being able to throw the ball a little bit farther. Yeah. So talk a little bit about the new uh, track circle or the shot put circle you're going to be able to throw in and practice in over uh, at the middle school. Uh, that should be kind of really uh, great for like a new addition to the OHS track and field team. So how'd you get into shot put? Uh, I actually got into shot put in middle school. I kind of like just wanted to try it out because like one of my family member did it, so I like thought it was cool. So you know, I just tried it out and I've been doing it ever since. And what grade are you in now? Uh, I'm a junior now. Awesome. So you've been doing it for several years. And what's uh, so, some of your favorite uh, memories from competing in the shot put throughout the last couple of years? Um, probably would have to be last year going to SIU, kind of like getting to put yourself out there for like exposure and whatnot. Yeah, and you competed against some guys from, from out of state. Uh, did you learn anything at, at those events? Yeah, it, it kind of teaches you like you have a lot more to improve on. Like you are not as great as you think <laughs> you are. Like when you're here, it's like, okay, I'm great. But when you like get out there, it's like, there's people 10 times better than me, so I have to step up my game. Yeah. So talk a little bit about your goals for this upcoming season uh, in the shot put. Um, my goal is to win city, county, go to regional, qualify for state. Awesome. Some big goals. Big goals. <laughs> yes, you got to set those big goals to get them, right? Yes, sir. That's awesome. So, uh, you know, talk a little bit about some of the, the competition you see uh, around the city. You know, there's a lot of guys um, from some of the other high schools that have been throwing a long time, too, and I, I know – you know, in the shot put circle, you get to know those guys pretty well because you spend a lot of time there in the early part, and then you, you know, your events are early in the afternoon, and then you gotta you know, yeah, sit around the rest of the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, so there's like a lot of people, like kids that go to Catholic and Apollo in DC, that are like, after a while, when you keep on competing with them, you actually kind of like build a friendship with them. Mm -hmm. But then again, you know, whenever you go up against them, you like it's a competitive effort. Like you want to beat them. That's right. So. Yeah, so talk a little bit about, uh, you know, what your goals are. You know, you got two years left to compete. What are, what are some of those long-term goals that you have uh, as a shot put? So um, a long-term goal would probably be to get exposure and go throw at it the next level. Awesome. A good school. Yeah, yeah, well, it's certainly a good opportunity to get out there and do it. But I want to thank you for taking the time to sit down and talk with me this afternoon, and, and good luck to you this upcoming season. Thank you. All right. That's going to do it for this edition of Red Devil Roundup with the boys track and field team, and thanks for joining us.